channel Ashley X with your host of Face reporting alive. Morning. Hi. How you doing? Video, eh? I am taking video, ma'am. Oh, sorry. I'll, uh, if you can see behind me, it's of myself backwards. Hello. <coughs> just uh, out and just impromptuly coming past the place of the crime that was committed. Behind me is the Midland Police Station. Let's see if I can get a picture of it because I can't get someone to film me also because of the fear of being shot, tasered or dragged in behind me here to this public policing station because uh, just up the road there just up further, I don't know if I can indicate up further there walking from there down to here and not being known by the police was suspicious suspicious enough to actually have crimes committed against myself here that being assault in a de indecent uh, touching as far as I had uh, these clowns behind me here putting their hands in my pockets down my pants dragged in there then they had to come up with a reason as to why to, ju to justify those actions being dragged off the public street filming public building for a purpose today's purpose is to uh, not be ruled by fear as it's uh, been said just up the road at this uh, a courthouse that uh, they do business with quite often that we live in the age of terror we don't live in the age of terror because there's a war on terror <laughs> yes that's just a bit of a joke terminology wise but yeah, it's the Midland Police Station here where you may have nothing in your hands and a gun pulled upon you, which has occurred right here outside this Midland Police Station complex. And the same officer, I believe he's an officer, but no name, no number, no sense of accountability, who went to draw his sidearm, firearm, on an unarmed person out in the front here, then made a threat of the taser device inside this complex behind me here. And as a result of that, I was robbed further, not only of uh, the belief that we're free and you can actually speak out loud and if we're not uh, committing any crimes, no criminal offences, that we're all good. Nothing, doing nothing wrong, got nothing to hide. That was shattered because of the fact that I was just dragged off the street like a piece of meat. Uh, a officer that was... Um, doing part of that was amused by this more fun than he'd had for a while he'd stated which I refer I replied that that's sad that um, I thought that the police were meant to uphold the law there are oath officers to uphold the law but uh, I don't have faith that that's actually what's occurring and uh, the amount of police that are likely actually witness to what went on in this station house behind me once dragged in there against my will not under arrest, just dragged in there like a piece of meat. All right. As far as you don't have to be a bad cop, but if you're allowing bad cops to operate, so you're either weak or you're actually part of it. You're part of it. You may not be the one taking the actions, but inaction in itself is either mean you're weak or fearful because you don't want to actually act out because you value your job. And I'd rush much the a role was done rather than a job. Uh, the, the, the faith in the police here is uh, waning because uh, from this particular station house it's actually had happened where an officer has been summoned to service and shot a man inside a residence that he shared and he had no weapon in his hand. It was first put out in the media that he had a butter knife. Oh, the officer had to protect himself. It was a knife, butter knife, but still a knife. It was later then actually put out in the media that there was actually nothing in this individual's hands when he was actually shot dead. Yes. It, it's, uh, I would have liked someone to be able to assist me in this so as I can actually do it better. But again, um, they're fearful of being shot, tasered, 
or otherwise jammed up, interrogated, intimidated because of what went on after I was uh, dragged off the street with offences that were committed against myself and the, I was then visited upon by the policing, other policing officers for no lawful reason, none before a court date where charges to be heard of obstruction of public officers that's what the charge was, it was made up, which was a quite literally a made up charge, which is how can you obstruct public officers with no verbalisation by any officer Good morning Hi. How you doing? Video, eh? I am taking video ma'am Oh, sorry? Of, uh, if you can see behind me, it's of myself backwards and I'm doing so as far as right here where we're standing, yeah. crimes were committed. Oh, There's actually, okay. it's evidence in the video and it's available to the public. It was, against, it was against myself and it still hurts even now to today. And it happened right here then, oh, so. It happened right here and I can, I can actually speak out loud to you what it is that actually occurred. It's okay. actually video, you can watch this happen. And it's, it's really disheartened me, caused me a lot of uh, grief. Okay. Trouble yeah. and everything else. What happened is, um, whilst I was actually, uh, I wouldn't say in between jobs, but the, the government was pursuing for fourteen odd thousand odd dollars, all right? Okay. I've gone again. I've fought myself, and that's still an ongoing matter. But that's no longer now an issue because I had a major operation. I've got all these things, all the other pressures. But now, what happened was, is I um, walked from there to here before I was going to go to Ken Wyatt's office, which is a, a person who's still whose office is still dealing yep. with the other side because I fought all the way to not have to owe all this money then owed more money or anything else so, so what, what grieves me hurts me is I was pulled off the street here by officers okay and and I wasn't under arrest I was just ripped off the street and you can view this if you so wish after I stop this you can view this and you can see where, why I may be so upset about this where, where not, on video somewhere it was on video I was videoing oh you were videoing I was videoing and I was told oh I'm acting suspiciously my behaviour is very odd. Why is it odd? I, I heard if my hearing is not incorrect that a, a man that's now looking down there was coming out that's not currently seeming like he's on duty at this stage. Duty of uh, Interrupting as far as friends of mine are fearful to come here in case they get shot or tasted. Now this is wow. very, very, very disturbing. Okay. Yeah. Um, when I came down here because I was engaging with the officers that were following me and whatnot. Right. Uh, you're acting suspicious, why am I doing suspicious? No further comment. I was, they were directed by an officer further up that I first had contact with, which was either not on duty or on duty. Yeah. And I heard him from here saying, make sure you get his details. That was the goal. Now I heard what they said from up yeah. there. Yeah, now, just, now, just fair call, you've got to No, 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 you, that's a reasonable assumption to, to be curious enough to want to get my details. I yeah. realise this, I don't, yeah. I don't understand that, but I realise this, yeah, right? Yeah. Sorry, um... So what happened is, now this, I wasn't aware of this until I saw the footage later, okay. that an officer unclipped his firearm, wow, okay. and this is on film, okay? I thought you were filming oh, this. And this was on film, and I didn't know that he was going to do this. I was actually a security officer with over 10 years experience, so I was also now robbed okay. of a, a potentiality for three years to, to do security guard work, which I've done successfully in two states over a decade. Okay. Now, as a result of the actions of the officers in here, okay. directly as a result of the actions of the officers in here... You can't do that anymore uh, Yeah, because once you're charged with an offence... This is the kicker. This is what really is disturbing. And I would like if someone was able to help <coughs> clarify this, OK? Yeah. As far as the charge against me was obstruction of public officers. Okay. There was no obstruction of public officers. Now, I'm not, I'm not me just saying that. That's, I believe there was no obstruction of public officers, <laughs> OK? Yeah. But all the public officers in this station house and there was more than just uh, the constables, there was sergeants okay. and more than one sergeant. Yep, okay. Now, in all the public officers in this station house, at the time that this took place, I'm not meaning to raise yeah. my voice, but it's very upsetting. Okay? Yeah, I can tell, yeah. What, what happened then was... Um, oh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. But um, what happened then was... So this, oh, I said, what? No, 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 I'm looking to work at the police station. But there was an avenue of employment which I could actually undertake that I'm quite good at, but it's now robbed me of the ability to work in that field that. merely for the fact of the actions of the criminal actions of these people in here. Now, now what, what happened is, I'm sorry, uh, I asked all the way through and all the way up to being kicked out the side door here yeah. after being forced, and I'll say that, forced, 
to sign a bail. Now, the bail that's been signed just got an excellent. I was forced to do so under um, depriving me of medication I'm required to take daily for my heart condition. Were they forced you to sign the Yes, I, if I didn't sign this form, I'd be kept here for a period of three days. Bail means you can get out, doesn't it? Or? Yeah, that, that's right, from the station house. Yeah. But the charge was the obstruction of public officers. When was now, that? When was it was that? over a year ago oh, because okay. I haven't, I've been, I'm now going to the employers what I once was yep. doing traffic management. Okay, cool. But I don't judge one individual differently from another based upon what it is that they do for a living. Yeah. Meaning so that a police officer does deserve respect, but they also need to uphold their oath, Absolutely. know what the law is. Yeah, don't be, don't treat people as ignorant because you're an officer. So they don't know because just because you're a public officer doesn't mean you are the law. You yeah, should have okay. the knowledge of the law and you should uphold the law. Okay, but but that's that's yeah. not what happened. So even going to the courthouse where they said, oh, it'll be sorted out in court as to what the obstruction was. Yeah. Okay, no, it wasn't. Oh. I paid for transcripts up here at the courthouse because it ended up being a $400 fine. I'm robbed of the ability to do um, security work for a period of three years. In the courthouse, I paid for transcripts. Thinking, well, at least I'll have the words that were spoken in court. You know, because yeah, yeah, yeah. what was spoken in court was never a um, thing stating what the obstruction was. Even right now, as I'm speaking to you, you don't there was no obstruction. Right, okay. If there was, it could have been and should have been verbalised here. Should have been stated in the court. As they stated, all I got was a. Um, a glib remark from a registrar, which is not meant to be offensive, but I see them as just an elevated asshole. As far as I, I'm quite aware of the law pertaining to being ruled upon over a criminal matter by a singular individual and the reference to it being a Star Trek. I'm not a fool, yeah, yeah. but it seems quite um, unhappy for me that the, they, they seem to just treat people as fools until otherwise shown. Yeah. But, um, so what's the upshot now? So it's gone to court? It's, it's gone to no, court. It's been dealt with. Now I had an option at the time I went to court because yeah. I've now got employment with another company. I had a choice because right, okay. I didn't want to go on protracted, extended, back and forth to a courthouse. Oh. Now given the fact that there was no obstruction, there was no obstruction, yeah. okay? So yeah. now I was going to have to either decide when I was getting starved out, and then this is an ongoing matter with Ken Wyatt's office. So you can contact Ken Wyatt's office. I'm a very distressed person. Yeah. Not mentally unhealthy, no, no, just which was yeah. which was forced uh, assessments twice by this station house, what, twice, twice, okay. twice, and there was two visits from this station house to my private residence. That's all. Been, I'll show you the film. If you have the time, patience, I'm quite willing to actually show you. Yeah. I'm not sure if you're officer here or not, but that doesn't bother me whether yeah, you are or not, yeah. because when you see it, you'll think sometimes a prudent judgment mm. and restraints on actions are far better mm. than just going I've seen this a hundred times before and acting upon other people yeah. that is a foolish mistake to make yeah, and yeah. an officer is no more wiser than another individual no. <laughs> and have, me having the experience I had in um, the security industry yeah, you know that, that was yeah. appalling behavior okay, okay. and and uh, it, so it what are you me. trying to do now are you trying I'm trying to, to show go? people because people are fearful that I'll get tased because I've got three with a taser in there but yeah. the same officer I can show you this was like a year ago though, yeah, over yeah. a year ago yeah. but um it's it was, it, it, I got threatened by a taser. I've got a pacemaker, and when I made the comment in there, when he held up the, the taser in front of other officers, this is what's yeah, also disturbing, yeah. in front of other officers, and goes, I'm a trained officer, implying that I'm going to be tasered. I'm not for doing anything wrong. I'm sitting on a bench inside the policing station. Okay. Now, that will kill me. I've got a pacemaker. But that's why when people are given the belief, oh, a taser is a non lethal weapon. No, not always. Don't, don't be, use it in the place of a firearm, by, by all means. But don't in every way think that if you tase someone, it may not result in someone's death because you don't know who they are. What, no, no, that's true. Um, and that person themselves may not know. No. So what are you trying to do now? Like, I mean, obviously, I'm trying to ago. self self um, therapy as far as it, it twists you up inside to yeah, be to put angry. in yep. exactly angry to be going. We live in a free society. These police officers are meant to be oath uphold the law. I clearly saw that that's not the case. Okay. Okay. Now I would have liked a friend of mine to be filming me here, yeah. so I'm not doing this, so I'm getting better yeah, footage. Yeah. Now, before this occurred, I myself had been up in front of this courthouse dressed like a clown. I kid you not. Okay. Um, going on about you know the law and things of that yeah, nature as far as. Draw attention. Yeah. Right, and that wasn't an issue. Waving by the police, thumbs up, it, and I was dressed as a clown. Okay. And it, you know, I wasn't trying to be suspicious or anything like that. Right. The, the, You're there's, out there. there's the circumstances around that, but. But that's why it's, it's very harmful, yeah. not only to myself, but the, the image of the public officers. Yeah, yeah, okay. it, it, is, it is very damaging to the image of the public officers. Um, 
I'll go now because I've not been dragged into the station house, but I can show you exactly what I'm talking about and narrate it for you. No, that's all right. It only goes, for, only goes for five minutes. Right. Only goes for five minutes. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't, you know, a terrorist. No, 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 no. Before you go, <laughs> in that courthouse, yeah. the guy was wanting to get in the transcripts because these are words spoken out loud. Yeah, yeah, we live yeah. in the age of terror. That's was the justification right. of it? No, no, but people shouldn't be told repeatedly that we live in the age of terror to create fear. Okay, because there is no terror. The terror that was related to in the courthouse was that is what's happened in Victoria. Yeah, the yeah. officers and the interaction between myself and the officers in no way could a reasonable person have given the belief that they had a belief I was a terrorist. No, that no, was, that no, was, was a, just, they, yeah. they used that excuse. This officer in there really? oh, used okay. a, You could be a terrorist planning a terrorist attack. It was amusing to me because I said, do you actually have the honest belief that that's the case? And, it, and it's not. It wasn't. Did. No, he didn't. Because you can see the face, you can see the interactions, you can see what the goal was. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is, right. because we don't know who you are, yep. it makes them uncomfortable and suspicious. Now, they don't have the authority or right to do that just because they don't know. You have to have the suspicion, you have to have the suspicion that a crime has been committed, or is being committed, or is planned to be committed. Now, those, any of those elements... That's probably what they thought that you were But there wasn't, because, because... No, I know you weren't, but I'm just saying they might have thought you were. That's right, but it has to be also yeah. um, verbalised. Yeah, okay. That's what I'll say. I believe you're you know, convicted of crime, so they asked you for identification or anything else. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, they yeah. did was try to force identification off of me. Okay. Now, I'm aware of the law. Now, I'm not a police officer, no. but I'm aware of the law because I can read and I've got a brain and I can yeah. comprehend. And, I, and, and, and that being said, I understand very little. The word understand has a legal sense of that many people don't realise, not to realise, okay? Mm, yep. So I don't understand anything or anybody other than that that I choose to do so. Because I shouldn't be compelled or coerced to understand something that I truly do not. True. Yeah, you either get it or you don't. In which case I can't force you to pretend it is. So. But um, in that courthouse, mm. it said that I pled guilty three times. Not once did I say I pled guilty nor innocent, not once. But in the transcript, it showed I pled guilty three times. That never happened. Okay. And that's shocking, shocking, shocking. Have you gone back to them about that? To the no, 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 because I'm thinking, because I, I, I would like to actually have the, uh, somebody that would be able to assist me, and I've got lots of information they can go through, to have this false conviction against me over two, because again, convicted of obstruction of public so are, culture. Are you appealing it? Or? How? I'm not sure, I don't know. Can you go there and ask? Now, this is the other thing. I've had dealings up there in, uh, where I've taken employers to court for underpayment, repeating them relief. Yeah. All right, and one successively every single time because you, uh, this government regulates them to do that. They failed in their job. Yeah. But they didn't expect, they, oh, you have to do it individually. And I went about and did exactly that. And it takes time, energy, yep. and money. <laughs> yep. Things people are reliant on that they don't have, so they'll just go, well, this is one of those I'll things, I'll just let it go and keep yeah. going. Yeah, no, I guess now, that should, and, and that is wrong. Societally, that is wrong. So that if you have the money, you can actually starve people out in the court process because yep. once you are unable to continue, you defaultly lose. Yep. Now, if you spend ten, figuratively, yeah, no, because it's more, it's more than ten dollars, but you say figuratively pay ten dollars on your defence because you're working hard, you're doing all the work yourself. They spend ten thousand on their side. You can't continue you can't anymore because of up. the um, processes that they're utilising to draw it out to Insurance cost more money. Well. You, you lose. Now you've got to pay not just what the cost you've outlaid to bring it to court. You've got to pay all theirs. Yep. And that's the disincentive for people to go and take things through no, a court of law. And I'm aware of what the difference is between civil law and, and common law. Yeah. Law of the land, law of the sea. Now, lots of people aren't aware of these things and they're mm. tricked. Mm. I am not the name. So when someone says, are you, and they use my name, they'll tell you what my, the name it is that I have is, which may then be curious enough to look at me because people are curious. Human nature, people are curious. Whether they're an officer or not, yeah. it's a nat yeah, yeah. So there is a clear difference between having the name, using the name, and being the name. Being you cannot the name. be the name. It's a trick. If you understand, if you know <laughs> language, if you, if you go in and look at the language, okay. actual language and the origins of words, the definition of name might fascinate some people. Well, because and you can't. Coming, it, it's lovely to meet you. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I appreciate you listening to my. Um, <laughs> yeah, look, I'm sorry, I've just the, the, the name that I have. I <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's right. I'm yeah. Ash. I'm, I would be. I refer to all the time now since that and many other instances <laughs> as Ashley of the Chapman family. Oh, okay. And with the information such as that, you are then able to obviously look into that type yeah. of thing. But uh, 
It's but been very up. You are not that person. No, 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 no. That see, is a person again is yeah. another. See, when people are aware of the definitions in a legal sense, yeah. it changes the way in which it is they all should operate in the world. Yeah. Things as, as much as simple as um, vehicle. Yeah. Vehicle is a term. Driving. Driving is another legal term. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yes. Right. If yes. I'm not transporting people or pers uh, uh, persons, people or goods for commerce, I'm not driving. I'm travelling. All right. No, no, I no, like no. It. no, no, no. No, no. If, if you go, yeah, if, if you look, return, it doesn't seem right. It really doesn't. No, but in a but when you sense, go yeah. and you look deeper and you go, yes. But, and, but many people just go, well, I don't think that's the case based upon the reality of the world I'm actually living in. But this is the problem, as far as there's lots of things that are misconceptions, but because one person says, oh, no, I see and that's what I hear and believe. It's like a rumour where it's all going around, but no one's picking but no one's, but no one's, but no one's picking up a book because there's lots of things that were stopped being taught in the 1970s. They don't I'm not. not I'm, I'm, I'm I appreciate. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I've got to get away. I'm not a terrorist or a threat. <laughs> no, no, I'm a bother maybe, but that's about it. <laughs> that's cool. I appreciate I think that. I like the sounds of it. No, I, I like appreciate that. your. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I might now try to look for my ride which I can see and then I'll head off. So I'll just walk up to where my ride is. I feel a bit better now. So I'm gonna go up and uh, go home and have a bit of a rest. Oh, it's almost like a bit of a reverse. Where I got dragged off I'm almost walking exactly up to the point where I walked down to the point where I got dragged off. Hopefully it uh, works the same way and I'm undone. That's very disturbing. Shouldn't live in fear. Shouldn't live in fear. And uh, yes, as far as I'm now, now at the uh, my vehicle, my ride, and I'm quite literally, uh, I'll go down there and just swing it around. I'll just, uh, just, just indicate it'll be just a moment to my ride, because uh, this building down here does a lot of business with the station house. So it was already a foregone conclusion. Courthouse, public courthouse. So as you can see behind me here, public courthouse and symbolism is very important in that. If you look at the symbol above me, above the house here, the courthouse that is, the crown should be a peak. It is not. The Australian government are the authority here. The Australian people are the authority. So uh, when they say kangaroo court, look for the kangaroo. Alrighty. Now it's time to go home and try to feel a bit better. Very distressing. And just an image of where it all began is there. That sign you can see centered in the thing from that point down to where I began today. It's time to go. Check out what's been done or wait to see what's to come. Ha 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 ha!